Hey guys, uh, Mick here at Boxer Swaps, and uh, I'm going to show you how to pull an engine and a wiring harness from a 93 uh, Subaru Legacy. And uh, this one right here is a turbo model, but uh, the, the procedure is almost exactly the same. There's just a few more uh, sensors and wires in a uh, turbo version. Um, anyway, we'll get started. Okay, first thing I did was uh, drain the radiator. Uh, the radiator's already out, but um, I, uh, there's a drain plug that sits right about right here. And you just kind of unscrew it, it's a little thumb screw. Just pull that out and drain it into a pan. And then you can remove the upper radiator hose and then reach the lower radiator hose as well to get all of the coolant out. Since this is an automatic transmission uh, Subaru, it has two lines for the uh, transmission cooler. The cooler actually sits in the radiator, so uh, you just disconnect those and drain those into a separate container for uh, recycling at the auto parts store. Second thing we're going to do is um, basically just dis disconnect all of the ducting. So the intake ducting, the charcoal canister, basically all of the uh, accessory equipment. Um, I've already disconnected the, uh, the drive belt for the power steering pump and alternator, and then we're gonna disconnect the uh, air conditioning. This one wasn't drained and there's still uh, um, gas in it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is actually just disconnect the pump and move it to the side, leaving all of the uh, hosing intact just because I don't want to deal with the uh, air conditioning gases in my garage here and I don't have a good way of doing that other than venting it to the uh, atmosphere and I don't really want to do that so anyway we're gonna do that uh, disconnect the AC and uh, I'm also going to um, start pulling the throttle cable out off as well as uh, any other small um, accessory equipment. So a uh, bit of a gap in the uh, coverage here, but just to go over what I've done, disconnected the fuel lines from the fuel filter that sits right here. I've taken that off because we'll be reusing that bracket and the fuel filter. Um, I've disconnected the four or the two uh, bolts that connect the transmission to the block uh, at the top of the engine here and then there's two studs down below this one being a power steering model or I'm sorry an automatic transmission model it has uh, coolant lines um, and that's for the transmission fluid uh, to flow up to the radiator um, I've also disconnected the two heater lines right there and drained those. I've disconnected the stabilizer for the transmission, this guy right here, just a 14 millimeter bolt and nut, just pull that off. <clears throat> I've moved the air conditioning compressor uh, out of the way. It's kind of kind of just sitting out of the way here while we try and pull the motor. Uh, let's swing around to the other side of the engine bay here. Okay, so I've pulled the charcoal canister, all of the air intake ducting um, that goes right here to the turbo itself. I've pulled off the um, power steering pump. Its its lines are still connected. I haven't drained those yet. It's just kind of sitting off to the side. I've pulled the heat cover off of the turbo and this uh, or taken off the uh, the down tube down pipe and uh, also the the bolt that connects the transmission to the engine right here and then the stud down below taking that off I've rigged the uh, the hoist so as you can see I barely pulled up on it and it's already created a little bit of a, of a gap between the, uh, the transmission and the uh, engine. And uh, basically um, disconnecting this turbo flange here 
five bolts or nuts depending there's a few studs there's three studs and two bolts and then um, <clears throat> if we go underneath we might be able to see uh, no not very clearly but there are two engine mounts 14 millimeter bolts or uh, nuts that you need to remove and so we are ready to pull the engine okay so the engine is just about out it's kind of just uh hanging out right here um it's totally separated from the transmission and i have a piece of plywood over the uh condenser here um or the ac uh, condenser and uh, it's just kind of protecting it just in case uh the engine came too far forward just because i don't want to um, have a Freon leak. In any case, I'm just going to pull it, pull it on out and pull the uh, torque converter off because this is going to go into a manual transmission VW. Okay guys, so we've finished pulling the engine, uh, the 2.2 liter turbo uh, engine out of the 93 Subaru uh, Legacy, the sport touring model. And uh, I'm just going to show you the engine bay, uh, what items we should probably get out of that before we send the uh, car off. Here is the empty cavern where the engine once was. Uh, we've got the down tube that we need to, uh, to uh, keep. Um, there's a couple items. Uh, of course, we've got the uh, cruise control controller. And I've already taken it off, but the actual uh, vacuum portion of the cruise control sits right here. And the fuel filter and bracket sit right here. Uh, the other items of interest are the pins that locate the engine to the transmission. And we'll want to make sure that those go with the engine. Okay, some other items, just the wiring for the... Uh, boost solenoids and whatnot, the mass airflow sensor, and then uh, some wiring over here. This is the, let's see, this compressor, air conditioning compressor is in the way, but we've got the engine connectors sitting right down here. We're going to pull off the driver's side fender and remove that um, wiring harness that goes to the back here. Uh, there's a big grommet that sits right about right here and goes into the dash itself. So that's the next move, clearing the items from the engine bay that we want to keep and pulling the dash to reveal the wiring harness.